Hello, hello, this is Pure Maze coming at you with another game in the Vile Gaming $100 Weekly. And uh, we have a match here between Nova Star Life and Combat X. Yes, this is actual the actual Combat X from the SE Brood War days. And uh, he is going to be the Red Potos here in sort of the 9 o'clock position. They're playing things out on Lost Temple. His opponent's going to be Nova Star Life here in the southern position as the... Uh, green Terran player and here we go so the seeds of a wall being planted by Nova Star Life getting that supply depot more from there alright so Comet X pumping out the crow probes like madman with the chrono boosts and there we go supply depot just finishing now for Nova Star Life throwing down the barracks complete this wall off out <clears throat> meanwhile combat X is gonna scout this Zelnog tower and then based on his uh, rally points gonna go straight to the bottom position here so he's gonna scout out stall life right off the bat and he's gonna see what his opponent is up to uh oh He's moving into the shrubbery, and his probe is getting stupid. He's trying to walk up the ramp. Look at this. What is the probe doing? <laughs> probe, you are not a reaper. So you're just going to get blocked off right there. Seeing the SCV going to double back right now, not managing to squeeze through the gaps, so getting completely denied there of a scout. Meanwhile, Combat X going for the robotics, I mean not the robotics, but the cybernetics core, and get the second gas down, so that robotics facility might not have it have been a um, mistake, he might actually be going for the robotics facility, but we will see soon, Combat X with the probe there, stealing 10 minerals from the gold mineral expansion, while Stall Life meets it up with the SCV, getting a couple shots off, unfortunately for Stall Life, he's count scouting completely the wrong direction. So this SCV is going to run a marathon before it reaches the base of the Protoss player, Combat X. Meanwhile, i got the Stalker getting pumped out with the Chrono Boost coming in from the Protoss player. Stall Life on, in the meantime, just setting up his base. And Marine going to chill here at the Zell Naga Cavern Tower. Why do I keep saying Zell Naga Cavern, damn it. <laughs> And Combat X getting completely supply capped for a second. So the sentry is just a slightly bit de delayed. And no oh, SCV from Nova Star Life getting denied by the stalker of Combat X. Meanwhile, Marine gonna head back to its buddy. This could be dangerous. Oh, a lot of Marines coming out now. This stalker is in trouble. Stalker is gonna get completely wasted if he's not careful. Running behind the shrubbery. Then running back. So manages to escape with his life. Those little legs carrying it and running like the wind. Run, forest. And now retreating to the safety of the sentry. One force field on that ramp, and these marines are not going to go anywhere. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. Nova Star Life doing the same thing he did last game. However, getting denied by the force field. Uh oh, this is no good for Nova Star Life here. And is there another force field left in the sentry? No, so that's going to be it. Let's see if he can win this right off the bat. He's doing this two times in a row. One versus the Zerg, one versus the Protoss. Throwing down the bunker as well. This is catching Combat X completely with his pants down. Ripping apart the probes there. The SAV is working like football players. Just tanking the damage. He's going to be able to take out that one sentry. Bunker halfway done. If he gets that bunker there, it's over. And the, will the bunker go up? Definitely is going to go up. However, is he still going to have Marines throw into that? He definitely will. Nova Star Life got to get his Marines in that bunker. This one Marine. Ooh, where is it going? Go in the bunker. Go in the bunker. Get to the chopper. Get to the bunker. And there we go. Gets four Marines in the bunker. And that, guys, could very well be the game. Trying to pump out an Immortal. If he can get this Immortal out in time, Combat X is going to have a much better chance of dealing with this. But if he doesn't, this could be the game. However, all he needs to do is manage to hold this off barely because Star Life has pretty much no SCVs mining right now. He's got a, just the smattering of troops in his mineral line. Uh oh, though. This bunker is suffering some heavy fire. 
manages to take out some gateways, but this immortal is gonna be able to pop, um, pop out. I should say, no time. He's got to target this pylon. That would be a wise choice. Just work, working on the warp gates right now, though. And Immortal is now out on the field, ripping up this bunker. Marines working out the Immortal, though. Might be able to get it. Oh, pulls it back and doesn't get it. Oh, man. Comet X holding that off like a boss. Clutch Immortal saving the day. So, I don't know. I think Stall Life is a little bit behind now. Got barely any SCVs here. Taking a look at the income tab. Ooh, actually, no, 10 harvesters and 17. That's pretty huge, though. Stall Life now trying to get his defenses up for this eminent push coming in. Immortal is just so slow. So these stalkers are going to fall ahead of the troops here from Stall Life. Stall Life's Marines placed in a great position. Uh oh, gonna get one of the supply depots picked off. That's gonna hurt. Almost a supply capping st uh, stall life, but not quite enough. Observer also out now for Combat X. Gonna scout this position, so he's even gonna be able to fire at that from below the ramp. But what is he doing? Stalkers versus uh, bunkers. Not a good matchup, I gotta say, if you're a stalker. Alright, I gotta say, Stall Life is not quite out of this game yet. He's trying to crawl his way back economically. Scanning the bottom of his ramp, making sure that uh, the forces of Combat X have indeed backed up, as we can see here. The Immortal is very, very low on health, however. All it needs really are those shields. Meanwhile, taking a look at the production tab, not a lot coming in from either player. Ooh, actually, what am I saying? Dark Shrine coming in from our Protoss player, Combat X. He's going to try to catch his opponent off guard with some DTs. This is going to be huge, guys. Nova Star Life might not be prepared for this at all. We're going to see if he um, has the intuition to save up the uh, scans from his Orbital Command Center. And we ha even have the Pylon here, and I think that might just barely be enough right there to warp in DTs at the very edge. If it's not, this is a huge blunder. But if it is... It's a genius move. Meanwhile, Combat X looks like he's going to forego his natural expansion directly for the gold. Feeling that he has enough map control, that he has a big enough advantage in the game to take a small risk and reap the rewards later. Meanwhile, Dark Shrine almost complete for Combat X. And what do we have for Nova Star Life? He has one scan saved up in his arsenal. He does have a second command center, though. That's not an orbital command. Mule dropping down for Nova Stall Life. And two DTs now running up the ramp. And Stall Life does not realize this at all. DTs sort of getting confused. They're not sure. Oh, splitting up the DTs. I think Stall Life sees this. I think he sees this. Oh, he wasted this. Oh, man. He has no scans. He's screwed. This is going to be it. Trying to warp the Orbit Command Center now. A little too little too late. This DT is working at the mineral line of Nova Stall Life. That's going to be it. There's nothing Stall Life can do to deal with this right now. He has no scans in his bank. Oh, look at those Marines just, just cry out as they die. One scan is not going to be able to clean this up. He's going to have two scans in his arsenal now, though. This DT from Combat X. When is he going to scan? There's the one scan. Going to pick off both DTs with a scan. Oh, ho, ho. one DT escaping with seven HP. So we're gonna have to force the second scan from Stall Life to pick that off. Stall Life did not want that because now there are two DTs once more running up his ramp, and this is gonna be it for him. There's nothing he can do at this point. He's nowhere near the engineering bay. That's the GT coming off from Stall Life. So well done from Combat X, taking it with some great defense, followed up by some great um, tech path, aka the DTs.